What kind of fittings to use for your half inch poly tubing? Well, today I'm going to show you the advantages and disadvantages of barb fittings, compression fittings, and lock nut fittings. Alfred Castillo here, the Sprinkler Warehouse Pro. Let's talk fittings. What's this ODID stuff? Well, if you're buying half inch tubing, it isn't just half inch. It has a few different sizes, all considered half inch. OD is the outer diameter. 0 0.67, 0 0.70, 0 0.710, and then there's inner diameter, 0 0.57, 0 0.600, 0 0.58, 0 0.615. Inside diameter depends on the thickness of the material. For barb fittings, you'll need the ID or inner diameter, and compression fittings, you will need to know the OD or outer diameter. If you're in doubt of what size you're working with, most manufacturers print the specs on the side of the tubing. So here's a number of barb fittings. I've got some couplers, tees, elbows, and end caps. There are also various kinds of adapters. You push them inside of the poly tubing. Now I'm gonna dip the tubing in a little warm water to make it a little easier. It's usually a good idea to use a hose clamp to keep the fitting good and tight. Now you could use crimping clamps, worm gear clamps, or plastic ratchet clamps. I like these little plastic ratchet clamps for my drip system because they go on so fast with no tools. So why use barb fittings? They're cheap and they go on fast. Great if you need a lot of fittings. However, they are not reusable. Also, if you're concerned about the longevity of your system, you should know that barb fittings do stretch the tubing just a little, weakening it. Over time, the weakened area where the fitting is installed may crack or split. On to compression fittings. For the compression fittings, you'll need to know the outer diameter of your tubing. The tubing is inserted into the compression fitting. It's a little difficult. A little warm soapy water will make your life easier. Just soak it for a few seconds till the tubing heats up first. Rocking the tubing back and forth while inserting also helps. If you need to remove the fitting, you'll have to cut it off like this. Compression fittings are not reusable. Unlike barb fittings, the tubing is not stretched. Compression fittings are inexpensive, but slightly more difficult to install than barb fittings. And for our final category, lock nut fittings. Various manufacturers make fittings that are similar in that they have some sort of restraining nut system. The cool thing about these is that they fit various sizes. Now this is not your normal righty tidy lefty loosey. The nut turns opposite of what you'd expect. If you're having trouble, you may be turning the nut the wrong way. Right turning this will take you back to the tubing. Left turn will get you back to the fitting. Screw down the nut exposing the barb. Push on the tubing. Screw the nut back up. These are removable and reusable. The downside is they're rather expensive compared to the other types of fittings. If you need a lot of fittings, it may be pretty tough on your wallet. If you have any questions about our products, chat with one of our incredible customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really know their stuff. Seriously, I ask them questions all the time. They'll get you taken care of. Remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything for your irrigation needs so that your trees, lawns, flower beds, and gardens are lush and beautiful. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the most out of our user-friendly Shop and Compare web store. For Sprinkler Warehouse, I'm Alfred Castillo, your Sprinkler Warehouse Pro.